Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is Rob from Connecticut. We finished up our sugaring season up here and came up with about a little over five gallons. I wanted to give you this little tip. So this pan, we did five boils and you always get some mineral deposits and nitre or sugar sand in the bottom. The other day I filled it up with about two and a half gallons of warm water, threw in a little bit of uh, white vinegar, probably about maybe a cup and a half, two cups. And this is the end result after sitting for a couple of days. There it is. So I don't have to scrub this pan at all, really. I'm gonna rinse it out and uh, give it a quick uh, cleaning with some Dawn and some hot, hot water. And this is gonna be ready for the next uh, sugaring season next year. Some people use acid for these. To me, unless you've got to really have a huge amount of buildup, I don't think it's worth it. A little bit of vinegar, let it soak overnight or even a couple of days. As long as you don't use straight vinegar, you don't want to mess up any of your wells. The acid from the vinegar can do that. Um, it's just a really a, a great, efficient, easy, cost-effective way of uh, cleaning the bottom of your pan. I had this soaking with some water and a little bit of white vinegar, and you can see this bottom part here, nice and clean. When I was rinsing out this pan, I realized I didn't have it level. I didn't have enough fluid in here. So this portion still has the nitre, and I wanted you to see just how well that vinegar works. Squeaky clean, and right now, that's the nitre. And I, can, I can't really even get it off with my nail. That's how bad it is. So I'm gonna hit this again with a little bit of water and uh, hot, hot water and a little bit of vinegar. I'm gonna let it sit probably overnight. And then tomorrow, I'm just gonna rinse it off. But this part of the pan, after five boils, all I did was put that vinegar and water on it and brushed it, rinsed it, and I'm done.